The first few times I wore this, I was at a loss of what was this I'm smelling. This is the house of a Halloween. Halloween man tattoo is actually originally called Jesus del Pozo. Maybe it's still called that, but it's a Spanish house. This is a 1.5 mil. Today's Halloween, I thought, okay, this one has a cool tattoo. Now, everybody mentioned the other ones, the um, you know Halloween X, the Halloween shot. But this one is the only one that I have with this cool, very cool design. This is a 50 mil, 1.7 ounce. And um, right here, it's just beautiful. Spray time. All right. Perfectly good spray like everything else from this house. Now, the first few times I wore it, I was very lost of what is this mess, synthetic mess I'm smelling. Even after two or three wearing, sometimes the very initial sprays I get bulk spray. I just really hated it. Uh, then I have to look it up. I walk onto my place. My name's Dave. Just hanging out and chilling. I had to look it up and I saw the notes of Martini. Oh, that makes sense. That absolutely makes sense now. Martini, granny, green apple, bamboo, orange, ambergris, ginger. Yeah, I'm telling you all this stuff that I'm smelling. It's on here. If you can imagine all this stuff all packed together, also with sea salt, musk, pepper. Rarely do I just read off the notes. I mean, I usually like to tell you what I get from the smell, but this one was so... Uh, how do you say? So, <laughs> such a big mess that I couldn't understand what's in here. But I'm reading it now. Yep, absolutely all the stuff that I'm reading to is in here. Cardamom. Then I was able to piece it together and then appreciate it. Now I don't hate it. Sometimes I do enjoy it in the warm weather and also in the cold weather like right now. Today is about, what, right now it's about 60, 65 degree in the US and that's pretty cool for a nice Halloween day for the kids. The the martini is coming out very strong and that is very cool though. See that's one of those things. Uh just an analogy okay I just thought of this because of this design. I was watching one time I was watching um my kids they're watching some cartoon and this cartoon seems pretty complicated. Not like the cartoons of my, when I was growing up, it's pretty simple, right? But nowadays, some cartoons are really, there's a lot of storylines, a lot of character, and there's a lot of development. And I didn't get it, it's like too many characters for me to memorize or remember. So I thought, you know, whatever they're staring at. And then my kids started to explain to me all the characters, what they mean, why they're like that. And I go, oh, okay, okay, I got it. So when I'm now, when I'm, you know, watching them, watching the show, I kind of get it. Now it does not seem so silly anymore. It doesn't seem so irrelevant anymore. It actually makes sense. Is this exactly what happened with me for this one? Now I know the notes every time I smell it. Oh, yep, I'm picking up the martini. I like boozy notes. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Without thinking of it that way, it was such a big mess. But now it is still a mess, but in a very cool way with all these notes in there. I smell the green apple coming out very strong. That mixing with the martini and the ginger and the orange, those are the very strong notes. And ambergris, musk, cardamom, bamboo leaves. Yeah, it's all in here. Isn't that great? All this stuff in this little bottle here, very cool design bottle. Um, I do appreciate this house. They give us very good stuff for the, a very nice price. I think I picked this up for, 50 mil for around 20 bucks around that range because I have the other one from his house maybe three or four other bottles from the house I really enjoy them so it's actually a pretty I think it's a pretty safe blind buy but when I first smelled it I hate it now I'm okay with it I'm actually enjoying it sometimes yeah I like that I like that green apple with a bamboo so at, at various times the dominant notes would, would, would switch from what I'm picking up so whatever my nose is is clinging on to or is more susceptible to certain things at different times that's what I picked up so that makes it very intriguing as if I'm smelling a very different um, fragrance now what does it smell like well while I was looking up I saw that it was compared to give me a second 
it was compared to this one ch man it seems to be like a combination between ch man privé with pagora bond 1 million now i did the 1 million reference now 1 million i think this halloween man tattoo is more fresh a little bit more box braid type of smell but now it's okay because it's a martini that's coming out that way the booziness is making it smell like the initial spray of a box spray but don't worry it won't kill you i'm still alive i, I wore this you know a few times already so i'm still here but if you imagine what that boozy martini smells like martini smells very different than the whiskey than um any of the other booze this is a fresh alcoholic Martini plus the fresh ginger, fresh bamboo, fresh green apple, and hamburgers. This is nice. <laughs> Pretty interesting concoction. Now, I just sprayed the CH Man Privé just in case you see it online and they're comparing to this. Are they similar? I gotta tell you, just in very similar, uh, small, minute uh, similarity, CH Man is a lot darker, warmer. Okay while tattoo is more fresh it's still coming out very fresh the martini just pops and stays on for a while while this privé it does have the booziness but it's the warm type of booze like a warm booze while this tattoo is a fresh martini so to me it's okay the, the privé is a little bit woodsy as well like basically it's a warm version tattoo is a fresh version and they'll probably use for this different season Cool, a warm season and cool season but there is one small similar uh, resembling you know that's it so it's not not too much just a bit as far as 1 million same thing 1 million is more powerful than this it's gonna be more uh, more uh, uh, brash okay this one is a little bit more tame okay so overall I think this is for the warm weather but right now it's about 65 still works well yeah, I, I don't know what they call it, Halloween tattoo, but it's it's cool design though. And uh, maybe people party on during the Halloween. Definitely not for the kids. Okay, it's, it did. Do you know what? I smell a little bit like candy. Now I'm thinking about it. I was going to say, you know, candy Halloween, but it does have a little bit of, um, I don't know, maybe Jolly Rancher type of smell. Yeah. My kid was just eating Jolly Rancher a little bit earlier. And I smelled that. It's the green apple version. Yep, yep. Okay, so I could say a lot of mixture of smells in here. A little bit of a candy, a little bit of booziness, a little bit of sweets from the, I think it's a cardamom. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. But when I back off and I do not know any of those notes, it smells like a big mess. So I'm, I'm getting both sides, okay? The good size and the bad size. So depending on when I see it, yeah so it's not an offensive type of smell the boozy notes is doesn't come out as if you just drink alcohol not really maybe just a tad but not to the no, not too much versatility should be fine should be good yeah nothing offensive in this so it's safe it's a safe uh spray so if you pick it up for cheap you know might as well give it a try it's a, a little bit unique um is in a similar genre of the other stuff but not really this kind of stands on its own especially from the same line as well this one stands on its own is uh as you could think of it like a fresh boozy with uh, some sweet not overly sweet mixture of even a bit of the green from the bamboo the yeah you could say there's a lot of stuff in here i keep saying that they just jumble all this cool stuff and say here I hope you like it. Sometime I do it, sometime I don't. Yeah, I hope that's kind of helpful. Now, the longevity is okay. It's um, what, EDT version and it acts like it. It was, it's cool for uh, project for about the first hour or so. After that, it skin sense for another few hours. So half a day is no problem. So the dry down is, you know, it's, it's more mellow. It's soft, you know, like most of the EDT version. It's not super unique. It doesn't really do anything too different, but I do think that that martini note is not often seen. Okay, it's not often um, used in the fragrance. 
Okay, what else? Um, should be okay. To to wear anywhere, anytime. Mostly for the warm weather. It's more masculine because of the booziness. So what I can say is if you are looking for something that's a little bit different than your typical cheapy or mostly the popular genre and you want some that could be a little bit you know different and also a little bit intriguing and but still not offensive in the same time mm, smells pleasant you could try this okay I like it I mean I, I don't I'm not mad that I spend the money for it so it is a very different and pleasant one. I keep repeating that so I'm thinking about what else is, is cool about this one it looks cool on the shelf all right then I hope that is helpful for your nice Halloween see you in a couple of days